three quantum stocks have been beaten up a little bit, making some sideways consolidation, and they are looking primed to take off. Welcome, everybody. My name is Benjamin Poole, one of the head traders at Verified Investing. Today, I'm going to go over three quantum stocks, IONQ, RGTI, and QBTS. Um, IONQ has been putting in this nice bear uh, bull flag right underneath the resistance. It looks like it's ready to take off to the upside. Rigetti is another stock, has an inverse head and shoulders pattern, putting in sideways bullish consolidation. It's about to retrace to the neckline of this inverse head and shoulders pattern. It looks ready to take off. And then QBTS is putting in this nice reversal pattern with um, higher highs and higher lows. And this is the recipe for another move higher. So let's go ahead and jump into the chart. IONQ first and foremost. Here's what I'm noticing. You had this nice stair step pattern on the downside. And then all of a sudden you got this reversal. It didn't negate this down, um, downtrend until you took out this high pivot. And then look what happened. So you notice how stair step on the way down, you got these really big sharp moves to the downside. Once the chart pattern changes, you get this reversal. And then all of a sudden you're starting to put in low, higher lows and then higher highs. And now as long as we can stay above this higher low right here, this low pivot, you're going to move higher. So right now, the line in the sand for IONQ is $55.45. Another thing I'm noticing in this chart is look at this wide range, green bar candle, sideways consolidation. This could take a couple more days to play out, but I love to see all of these buyers who in, are in here. The sellers who wanted to get involved and take their profits are able to get out at this level. This gives us an opportunity for price action to head up even higher. Also, there's this nice down sloping trend line that I'm monitoring on the charts. What we're doing is connecting this pivot top here, secondary pivot right at this entry point or this uh, resistance level at $55.45. This is your line in the sand as well. Once price action breaks above this down sloping trend line, you're going to make a move up to at least this low end at $65.15. This is your next level of resistance. If we can continue this up pattern with this low here, Pivot high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Then you could even come back and get to this gap fill at $81.92. So keep this on your radar. Uh, this would be a great entry price with a stop out below this low pivot. If you take out $45.36 on a daily closing basis, this upward pattern would have been negated and then you have more potential upside. Right now, I think the bottom is in and we have much more momentum to the upside to go. Uh, oh, let me go ahead and switch back here. The next one I'm going to go over is Rigetti. Rigetti has a nice inverse head and shoulders pattern, down something trend line. It broke out of the head and shoulders pattern. But what I like to do is wait for a retrace to see the crime, which is that neckline. Once you can get that entry price there, if price action closes back inside the neckline, that would negate the pattern and it would allow us a, a nice tight stop out. If price action does play out um, for that inverse head and shoulders pattern, you can actually have stock like Rigetti go much, much higher. Let's go ahead and dive into the chart of Rigetti. Here's this inverse head and shoulders pattern that I was mentioning on the charts. I want you to notice, look at this price action. Price had this huge move to the upside after it took out this pivot top what um i was kind of showing you on ionq you've got this low you got a high higher low higher high higher low and then look at this you finally made this pivot top here and then the opposite thing happened you got this pivot high you got a low a lower high a lower low and then look at what happened so what we're looking for is a reverse of the pattern for us to start forming this um upward trajectory this is what Rigetti could be doing uh, on the daily time, time frame. Um, the one thing I was really mentioning, though, is this pivot top. This was the prior all-time high on Rigetti. It got a lot of support. So $21.42 is that line in the sand. As far as price action goes, if it can stay above that, I think Rigetti has much higher to go. I'm going to zoom into the charts to show you this inverse head and shoulders pattern. What I've done is connected this right shoulder. Um, I've created, excuse me, right left shoulder head right shoulder i've taken a, uh, the apex of the head all the way to the neckline and now what i can do is from the entry point 
or from the uh, breakout level, your upside potential target is $32.18. If price can get back to this neckline, which I'm going to draw for you right now, take this trend line tool, draw this low pivot, connect these low, I mean, these pivot tops. If we can get price action all the way down to $25.36 in this area, this would be a buy level. And the great thing about this is we know the measured move can take us all the way up to about um, 33.08, which is the gap fill, maybe a little bit lower. But if it closes below this neckline on a daily closing basis, we can always stop out of the trade and look for support back at $21.42. This would minimize the amount of risk that you're taking. You could take about a four, five, six percent, depending on when it closes, um, move to the downside. However, if we can get this entry point and get this price target all the way up to $33.08, you can get a 30% move to the upside. Now, this is just going to be the first level of resistance on Rigetti. If price action wants to head a little bit higher, you still have this gap fill at $37.31. And then ultimately, my upside target is $39.17. Rigetti is setting up for a great opportunity for a buy uh, for a buy level. QBTS is the next one that I'm going to show you guys in the charts. QBTS is has been beaten up a little bit more uh, more than anything. It's putting in sideways consolidation, not quite getting as hammered as Rigetti is. However, the price action of QBTS can take this thing quite considerably higher. So what I'm noticing is you had this pivot top, you had a low, a lower high, a little bit of a lower low, and then all of a sudden you had this nice sell off in the markets. So what are we looking for? A reversal. So what I'm seeing in the charts is this um, bottoming tail with price action getting back to prior pivot highs. Price tried to get below it, can, um, never really confirmed below it, and price got a bid to the upside. Now I've got this downsloping trend line that connects all-time highs to this secondary pivot where it created that second um, low, the, the lower low. Now I've drawn this trend line. Price did break out of that. Ideally, you would like to see price get back into this uh, the scene of the crime or this broken neckline for us to take along. However, because it's creating this sideways consolidation right underneath resistance, see all this, this pivot high here, this low pivot bar here, and these pivots Price is consolidating right under that level, which means that buy, uh, the buyers can continue to buy, bid this up. Sellers who want to take profits can exit the position. And then once those sellers exit, this can take the price up all the way to this $37.54 level. Now, what would negate this sideways consolidation pattern? That's a good question. Any close below this low pivot on a daily closing basis would negate this inside bar pattern. Still has a couple more days for that inside bar pattern to actually come to fruition. However, if you can get this on the third, fourth, or fifth bar on the inside of this, um, hopefully at the lower end of that green bar, um, then this is a great buying opportunity, especially since we have a potential upside of you know, um, the $40 level, even a whole round number, and your negation would be a close below $24.70. All right. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you guys want more chart and price action, please visit me, verifiedinvesting.com, 845 this morning. I'm going to be going live. You can submit your questions in there. If you do it soon enough, I may actually go over your chart live in front of everybody. Um, if you guys are getting something out of this, make sure you're liking, you're subscribing, and you're following um, and sharing with your friends so that way they can get this price action as well. We'll see you guys next time in the charts. You guys have a great rest of your day and take care.